10 13. Can I head out now? Yeah, no, yeah we head out. Like, well, we are more blue wristbands tickets. They ran out of tickets. Uh oh, we got silver. Yeah, we don't worry about those folks right there. Uh, can I go? I gotta go do the pasture. Gotta get some chickens. Some chicken fried steak. Chicken cacciatore. Chicken soup. Chicken go. Oh. <laughs> all right. Chicken noodle soup. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> There's my son right there. Oh, That's my it? little boy, and look the hardest worker right there, my other son. Checking out right there. <laughs> He's checking to be sure everything's stable, you know what I mean? <laughs> Ashy, are you stabilizing the whole situation down here, partner? He's going, what in the heck are you talking about, yeah, Dad? <laughs> are you checking all the chickens? You count the chickens with your phone? Check, count the chickens. Now, you got it. Now, tell me where you are, sweetheart. Where are you from? California. California, and these two fellas? This, California, where are But he's a. New England fan. He must be from that's Boston. That's my son. No. He's from Boston. No. That's my baby. What the hell's wrong with you? What are you, a Raiders yeah, fan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell, LA yeah, Rams? Like Raiders. Yeah, yeah. Raiders. Are you his, a thug? His Raiders fans are thugs. His oldest son went to school with Gary Carter. Really? Yep. Ooh, I like that. Now, what's his brother's name? David. David. He turned out to be nothing. Oh man, I can't believe how good Derek is. But they're awesome in town. They do a lot of work with the oh, really? football team. Oh, really? For the communities and yes. stuff like that? That's yes. good. They're awesome. That's good. I ain't seen Dak all this time. I saw Tony Romo down the street about three weeks ago. Oh, well, tell him to come back. Mm -hmm. uh oh. Is that guy pulling that guy over there? Now, that's our Dallas Police Department over there. He's going to get Now, my, my tour is very, uh, very detailed. Like, for instance, that taxi. That's a taxi right there. <laughs> Now, I don't, I don't know if y'all seen any of these down here, but we call them, we call them, uh, dog pull-ups. Right there. See it right there. Oh, there you go. Uh, y'all ain't got those in Florida, huh? Y'all got gator pull-ups. We're from California, oh, not I'm Florida. Just I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, man. What is that? That's your art? That's the art t made by Robert Sumners. He also designed El Central College. But that's boring. We don't want to talk about that. We want to talk about what happened here in July 7th. Okay. Now, I'm going Texan to Sirius, all right? Okay, Texan Sirius. On July 7, 2016, this is where the police officers were shot and killed, guys. Oh. Yeah. This line right here, you see the arrow pointing that way? Yeah. yeah. That's the line that they were doing. Now, the the the, uh, the parade happened about eight blocks up, down the, up the street and was coming down the street this way. Now, I've seen the parades happen on a daily, weekly basis, you know what I mean? So the Palestines are always fighting the Israelites and Pakistans and Mexicans are wanting more tacos. And then now you got the black people for Black Lives More, you know, Black Lives Matter. They're coming down the street this way when the killer, Micah Johnson, well, he pulls up right over here. You see where the newspaper stand is? Uh huh. He pulls up right there. He gets out of the car, he walks over to the corner, and he shoots upon the officer. Now, why didn't the officer see him? A lot of people, people everywhere. Nope. No, but you carry. No, oh, damn it! Because it was dark. Damn you! Because <laughs> they were all black and it was dark. No, no, hell no. We, we saw races in this moment. Look, they're walking this way. They're facing that way. Oh, oh. He pulls up there. He shoots the officers. Da, 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 they fall down. Two of them die right there. Oh. The X's mark the spot, and the other one right over there. Now Michael Johnson is going to retreat. He's going to go on the other side of the building where he kills two more officers. <gasps> And then they blow them up on the other side. Oh my god. Send some C4. They say John McClain over there. Drop some C4 yeah. on his ass. Uh, how you doing, partner? Yeah. Right, all right, all right. You see that? How yeah. you doing, sir? Neon. Yep. Now this is the tallest building here in downtown Dallas, Bank of America Tower, BOA. I left uh Comerica because they were charging me too many fees, you know? I went to Bank of America and then realized they're charging me too many fees too, you know what I mean? So you keep it under your mattress? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Now you're going to see some of the banners, guys. You'll notice some of the banners up here have the, uh, for the fallen officers. Oh, they took them down. Oh, wow. They took them down yesterday because they were here. They were here yesterday. Oh, wow. No, none of the banners are here. Now, they, they down the street, they'll have a lot of banners and it has the pictures of the fallen officers. Yeah, they did take them down. All right. Now, now, if you get sued by the federal government, you go right there to that building right there. 
Mm -hmm. That's the bankruptcy court and the federal court right there. What is your oldest building in downtown Dallas? Ma'am, that would be called the uh, Scottish Rite Cathedral. I'm going to show it to you. Oh, okay. We'll go by it. Now, there's, that's, that's iconic right there. That's the first McDonald's ever built. <laughs> yes, really? first one ever built. Yes, ma'am. Sure yep. Ray Kroc McDonald. You know, he's from, he's from Mission, Texas, where they make Mission uh, Tortillas. You know what a tortilla is, right? <laughs> Maybe you should wear you know, my hat, honey. Maybe you should wear my hat. We're on the border of Mexico, too. We know how to say it. <laughs> Look at her, man. You got to get it. Turn around. Turn around and take a picture of you right here. Look at you. You ready. Hold on. You, With my cowboy shirt. I had to wear, oh, hey. I, had I like to wear, that. I had to wear Patriots when I was at the Patriot yeah, game. There you go. There you go. It's a green light. Oh, ma'am, here in Texas, we don't honk. You notice the car behind me didn't honk? You notice that, guys? A lot of people don't honk in Dallas. Y'all know why? Why? Everybody carries guns, and that's true. That's actually true. Nobody honks out here. Oh, man, you should go to New York. Oh, my oh I've God. been there. I was like, Who's, someone, someone's going to get shot. <laughs> I was like, Duncan, no, nah, here. Yeah, it's kind of funny. See, uh, this Texas law has been in effect forever, but they've been really pushing it a lot lately, you know? Uh, it's been all over the news and national news and USA Today and all that good stuff. But um, now people are really pushing, hey, I can wear it anywhere I want. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they got their way. Oh, and then, yeah. Um, yeah, look at look how, look how the sun hits the back ends of these. Really nice. Uh, but uh, the other day I went to Subway, you know, Subway yeah, sandwiches. Yeah, we had those. And the lady. <laughs> what you say? We have those. <laughs> Subway. Uh, and the the lady behind there is carrying. She's in a she's, subway. She's making my sandwich and carrying at the same time. I was like, dang it! And I went to a haunted house with my kids just last night, and the the guy at the door was carrying. You know, so he was dressed up like carry? a goblin. You know? Yeah, yeah, no, come on, let's get out, ma'am. Come on, let's oh, get okay. out. Let's take a picture out here. Come on. Let this thing roll back. Don't get behind it, guys. This is the Four Sixes Ranch. This was established in uh, 
by Mr. S. B. Burnett in 1871. Okay, these ranches are still functional. Maybe they're not doing cattle, but they're still ranches. Okay, uh, they'll have steers on there. I mean, they're, you know, they're not there to sell them or you right. know, have them. But the Robert Sumner's, the architect, went to 49 ranches before he built this and took pictures of the biggest steer on their ranch. So these are the actual size of the steer? Well, the faces are. The faces are. Now, so, I mean, look at this guy. He's sitting about a few inches off the ground. You know what I mean? Uh, don't forget when he's about a 25,000, uh, 2,500 pound steer and he's in the grass, he's going a few inches deep. You know what I mean? But I will tell you, the horns on all of them are totally wrong. Oh. Yeah, every one of them, the horns are wrong. And the reason they did it is because it's a park. All the steers use their horns for protection. Right. So they go forward. So like, uh, let's consider this guy right here. See how his horns go up? They don't actually go up. Well, oh, oh, hell, oh. just like mine. They come out, you see? Oh, this is yeah. a lot of kids. Now, I want you to notice something about the horns also. They're not very sharp at all. They're, they got nubs on them. You will never find a steer with a nub on them. You know? No, they're, they're, they're very, very horns. sharp. Yeah. Uh, I'll show you something on the front of mine. When I plug in my vehicle on night since it's electric, I got to plug it in right here. See this, guys? Yeah. Uh, we've got about eight injuries. Go walk around like this, and we're just parking in a dark place. And you don't see it, you turn around, you go, whack! Boy, it's got me. It's got me twice. Yeah. No, you don't trip, you just don't realize it. We, I kind of sanded this one down a little, and this one, but the man, they're very, very sharp. Now, it's made of the same thing as right now.